Yeah, people have been coming here. They've been lined up since five o'clock this morning. That is when the first voter was in line to cast her provisional ballot. Those are the only ballots that you can cast in person today in New Jersey. Most of them uh, have been mail in, but overall, the state's voter turnout is expected to be its highest in history. The phrase mail it in taking on new meaning in New Jersey where more than three and a half million people have already cast their ballots. According to Governor Murphy, that's 90 percent of the 2016 turnout. It is safe to say that this election uh, will be an all time record turnout. New Jersey sent paper ballots to every registered voter, but at this point, the governor says not to put any more in the mail. Instead, you should place your ballot in a secure drop box monitored 24 seven by surveillance cameras hand deliver it to your county board of elections or to a poll worker at your local polling place today. You can also vote by provisional ballot at your polling location, but keep in mind that those votes are counted after the mail-ins. New Jersey is historically a solid blue state, but it does have its red pockets like Morris County, which Donald Trump won in 2016. Just very concerned about changes that may come about um, if, if things change too much. I'm kind of a conservative person, so I went with the candidate that I knew was going to um, have a strong foreign policy. In Hudson County, Democrats overwhelmingly took the vote in 2016 and four years later are focused on one main issue. Get Donald Trump out of office. That's my main motivation. All right, polls close at 8 p.m. That is also the deadline for putting any ballots into those secure drop boxes or dropping your ballot off in person at either a polling location or to your county's Board of Elections office. Live outside the Prudential Center in Newark, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News.